Hi, welcome to tonight's episode of Entertainment Tonight. I'm your host, Aaron Cook. Tonight we have a special treat for you, our viewing audience. We have an exclusive look at some behind-the-scenes footage of interviews from the, some of the current second-year PGY2 residents at UK. Although these man residents managed to make it into the program, what we found is really quite disturbing. What you're about to see is not suitable for young children or people with squeezy stomachs. Parental supervision is advised. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the show.
So, Sarah, tell me how you plan to run the scheduling committee this year. Thank you for that question, Scott. Um, but would you mind actually repeating the question, um, but using your microphone? Because I don't think the distance interviewers heard your question. And also, if you wouldn't remind referring to me as the senior PGY2 ID resident. Yes, so first let me tell you about how I'm going to be going on vacation in February. I'm actually planning to schedule myself to staff. That way it will be a complete cluster when that week rolls around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I actually have to go play kickball now. I just love that exhilarating feeling you get when you kick the ball and run to the pitcher's mound in order to score points. <laughs> So Allison, why did you decide to apply for the PGY2 Hemonk Residency Program rather than stay at Hopkins? Well, um, it's relatively close to Johns Hopkins, so if I needed to get back to Baltimore, I could easily drive if I wanted to. Second, you know, I'd like to make some pretty major changes around here. For example, I think I'd like to mandate that every resident have a dog buddy with them to promote happiness around the hospital. Yes. Yes, that would be you, Sir Charles. And second, I think I'd like to do away completely with the on-call program, or at least mandate that every PGY2 um, doesn't have to take night call unless they really want to. You know, I really have nightmares about this. Wait to be R200. Um, you're R416. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Anyway, I can just see myself accepting the UK's Best ER Resident Award. My speech will go something like this. I want to thank all the other R's who came before me, all 10 of you, because I am R11. I can see what kind of an impact I'm going to make on my patients in the future. It's going to be amazing. It's like I can see my name in lights, like in Vegas or something. So, Dr. Wong, what are your goals as a critical care resident here at UK? I just have so many ideas for this residency. You're really going to learn today. What I think I want is to start a suit committee. So Jackie, what do you imagine your first on-call experience? What will it be like? Well, first, would you like a cupcake? I find that cupcakes are delicious and they lighten the mood and they make everyone happy. So please have a cupcake. I got the recipe from my grandma. She's the baker in the family and I grew up learning how to bake from her. Um, but anyways, I think my first night on call was going to go very well. I already have one year of residency under my belt at a pediatric hospital, no less. So I think I feel very confident in my abilities. We actually also found some video footage of Jackie's first night on call. Please see. All right, buddy, get some rest. The pagers go off, just give me a call. Can do, buddy.
manager always says this. Go back to sleep. What? Yeah, I think I'll kill it on call. So Mary Joy, what got you interested in pediatrics? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a bright and sunny day. The birds are singing, the sun is out. It's gonna be a great day in peace. I love you, I love everybody. I love this day. So Ricky, can you tell me what your goals are for the residency program? Wait. What program am I doing again? By the way, Tim, have you seen my keys? Oh, I know where they're at. Does anyone see my keys? Dude, this isn't your office anymore. You're a PGY2. Oh, yeah. Right. I'll see you later. Ahmed, the most important question. Why are you still here? Jeremy, it's a great question. As you can see by, by my Beamer, this is my Beamer group. And I've got to be a part of that for life. For life. Life. Anyways, other reasons I'm here, I really just want to pursue a JD, MBA, culinary arts degree. Maybe just go to like nursing school for a few days. Probably go work at McDonald's and see what the like cash registers are like. And then just learn how to change BMW tires. That's like my dream, I think. So I'll just stay with that. So Jamie, what do you plan to do with your free time while you're here? Oh, I just love to sing and dance. Actually, I have something prepared for you right now if you want to listen to it. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. So, Casey, where do you see yourself in five years? Wait a second. Casey, where is Casey? I'll be on the big top for sure. I can see it now. Riding elephants, juggling bowling pins, and riding a unicycle. Really? Oh, and I might have to dose a bank or two here and there. So Lily, tell me about how you handle patient care issues. Well, patient care always comes first for me. I want my patients to know that I put them first. Hi, I'm Lily. You remember me? I'm the pharmacist. How could I forget? Lily, you've been so wonderful with me. Will you marry me? I can't do that. <laughs> but why not, Lily? I love you. You've been so great with me. <laughs> I don't marry guys who cry. <laughs> I'll marry you. Great, you'll need my number first. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm here to talk to you about your chemotherapy. I know this is all a lot of information, but I'm willing to take as long as it takes so that you really understand your th chemotherapy, okay? Um, I think you're, um, hi. I think, okay. I Oh my god, oh my god, you're bleeding all over me. I really can't do this. I'm so sorry. Go. So, Rebecca Lee, Ashley Clemens Hayes, what's your leadership style like? Yeah, Philip, like, I'm totally on board with that. I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah, absolutely. That wasn't a suggestion. I was asking you to describe your style of leading others. Oh, well, I don't really know, but have you read this book? It is amazing. It talks about being a giver and a taker, and I just really associate with my, myself with being a giver. You know what I mean? I just, I feel like I give all the time, and, and I give, and I give, and I give, and I, oh, oh, it's a code. It's in Pave. I'll let, I'll let one of the critical care residents give it. Anyway, I really feel like I'm a giver. 
So Megan, how do you plan to handle your on-call shifts this year? Let me just tell you, I'm so excited to be a part of this on-call program. I'm just so excited. One thing I'm not excited about, though, is documenting my activities in SCM. I mean, Epic, which we used at my last facility, was the bomb. It's so great. It's so much better to document it. But I'll do it. And let me tell you, I'll be the most diligent resident on call. Kazu, how do you plan to run case conferences this year? Hello? Kazu? Kazu? I just got an email from Kazu to do a case conference. Hey, me too. What's yours on? Amy, you'll do a case conference next week on nutrition support and all the different tube feeds and warfarin and tube feeds. Hmm. Mine's on tenecteplase and stroke. That wasn't even my case. What? And then I have to do bank afterwards? How many warfarin case conferences are we going to have? Uh, we've had about just as many vancomycins. <laughs> Kathleen will be giving a tutorial tomorrow? I'm flowing! What the heck? I never agreed to this! Where is that way? Where is Kazu anyways? So, Carolyn, you would be sharing the spotlight here at UK with at least three other critical care residents. Um, how do you handle that sort of competition? Okay, Carol. Keep it together. Don't tell him about that one time on the soccer field. Well, Jeremy, I am the epitome of a team player. What happened? Kathleen, how do you plan to handle the stress of a cardiology residency? Tracy, when I get stressed, I enjoy a good karaoke session. And as the social committee chair, I plan to host a lot of karaoke sessions. I can see it now. So Kelly, tell me, how do you make decisions? Well Val, you know, when there's a fork in the road, I always take the spoon. And if there was one thing on your CV that you really would want us to remember you by that really stands out in your mind? Well, that would have to be my suicide prevention training. I know this can be a tough year, and I'm prepared to help my COVID residents in any way. The struggle is real Val. So let's Snapchat all my Utah friends and tell them how great this is. Hashtag UK, hashtag residency, hashtag oncology. Well, there you have it, folks. The lost footage of our current residents. Despite what you may have seen and the concerns that you may now have, these residents have gone on to do wonderful things at UK and have provided the PGY-1 residents with a great deal of laughter and have served as wonderful resources this year. They will surely be missed, not only for their lampoon-worthy actions, but also for their friendliness, hard work, and helpful attitudes. I'm Aaron Cook, and this has been another edition of Entertainment Tonight.
I'm sitting at my desk in the nursery I open an email addressed to me that said you'll be waiting on a level I shook my head no said why tonight the email said it's coming back at two you'll be waiting on a level and when I picked up the pagers on that date I told Palm D on call I'd be there long before eight but didn't get there until 8 30. that's off said I'm sorry it'll take so long I tried to do it on my own but I'll tell you it should be normal the nurse will take an hour to result. You talk about an anxious feeling. I was nervous. Waiting on a level. And then I got that page from 38784. I called right back and knew it was core. It wasn't worth it. Waiting on a level. I couldn't find the pass off anywhere. That damn email deleted itself, I swear. Receptors do it, cause they can do it. And boy, it's just the fact of life. Super therapeutic levels will cause you strife. You might as well go on and get used to it. Or that will take her time. And hell yes, you. Juggling bowling balls. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, if you can juggle bowling balls. <laughs> Why don't we redo that? <laughs> To be like. Well, first, would you like a cupcake? Oh, <laughs> don't laughing. <laughs> the cupcake fell off. <laughs> well, that wasn't a suggestion. I was trying to just, uh, start. Again. That wasn't a suggestion. I was trying to get you to describe your style of leading others. I didn't say it right. Well, that wasn't a suggestion. I was asking you to describe your style of leading others. So, Sarah, 
tell me how you plan to run the scheduling committee this year. I don't. It gets really itchy in here. It's going in. Now you know what it's like to wear a boa. Try to do it for a whole night. What's the boa? It's the tights? Yeah, not try, fun. To, try to be a girl for Can a I night. Can I rip them off? No, after you're done. I'm recording. I'm Aaron Cook, and this has been another edition of Entertainment Tonight. Oh, I don't want to go to the CDU.